What's up guys, it's your boy the Moaner and welcome back to another Black Desert Mobile video. Good morning. <laughs> we had attempted to do a 48 hour stream. We made it about 20 something hours. 27, I don't even know. I don't even remember passing out. But the uh, the objective was to get my sorceress on par with where my witch was um, at top 100. And I had to kind of rush and we had to do a bunch of boss rushes and all kinds of stuff and leveling. Uh, but basically it gave me an opportunity to to really test out uh, the sorceress to really see uh, where she's at. So let me just say this up front. Now, I don't know this, if this is intentional on Pearl Abyss's part, but they have basically taken the heal out of her kit. So before, or even in Korea, they she actually has an ability that she uses that allows her to kind of life drain. Uh, similar to the Black Desert Online regular where she, well, not really similar, but she has an ability in Black Desert Online as well uh, that allows her to life steal and stay alive. Now, what that creates with her is a very high potion consumption cost, uh, which can kind of hurt your economy, especially if you guys are trying to farm more difficult areas because uh, it'll increase the amount of coin that you have to spend to keep your sorceress alive. However, uh, with that being said, I think that she has a very, very strong kit, and we're going to talk about that here today. So first and foremost, guys, when we get into build strategy, it's going to be pretty much up to you, I think. I think attack speed is going to be really, really important for her, especially crit as well as crit. And of course, I think you're going to want to maximize your attack power. I think a little defense can't hurt as well, just because now that she can't heal herself, you, you're going to want to give her the ability to kind of stay in combat as much as you can. But the, ultimately, I think that's going to be a decision that you yourself is going to have to make as to whether or not you want to go full damage Sork, or if you want to have some type of a hybrid, or if you want to go more defensive and play for the team PvP for those of you guys who are in larger guilds uh, or are part of a guild and you guys want to position more for the CC, the knockdown, and the control to set up uh, kills for the rest of your team. When we get into her abilities, it's pretty crazy because almost every single one of her abilities has some type of stun, knockdown, knock up, some type of some type of bound on hit, and some even with super armor. What that means is when you look at her kit, and you guys can kind of see this here, but everything that she does is centered around getting in, getting out, and controlling the enemy. So the kicker here is. I think, uh, you know, as I look at her and, I, and I'm trying to formulate putting a kit together for her, uh, I, got, I got a little taste yesterday, shouts out to Cho Nation, uh, for giving me the opportunity they had declared war on her guild and, you know, we were fighting and I was like, well, I'm going to fight this team, uh, I'm going to fight these guys over and over, I got my butt whipped, you like, because I didn't really understand at the time, uh, you know, how the source of the mechanics works or her skills. Um, but really looking at her, especially position in mobile, it seems like she's designed in a way to get in, get out. So get in, apply pressure, get in, be aggressive, right? And then get out to reapply pressure, right? Because with her abilities, for instance, like she can move in, stun you, knock you down, boom, 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 barrage, get back out, lock you back down, uh, get back in, you know, deal a bunch of stuff. So it's, it's ultimately, I think, at first glance, it's about finding the balance between uh, when you should be in the fight when you shouldn't and how to maximize your cooldowns because your abilities some are quick a lot of them have very long cooldowns from 12 to 30 seconds uh, which is pretty insane and with her being a more mechanical class if you put yourself in a situation where you're not familiar, especially after manual, if you're if you're manually doing PvP and you're not familiar with how her cooldowns work or how you have to position or what abilities are up, I think it could leave you in a sticky situation. Now, with that, in terms of autoing and farming, I think she's good. I think she's almost on par with the ranger, if I if I was to say. Um, it's gonna take a little bit more testing before I say that she's on par with my witch, because my witch is just you know she's clean. Uh, the thing that detracts from her ability to pve is the fact that she doesn't have a heal which of course decreases your profit uh, which in, in my opinion if you guys are looking for a pure farming class unless they re-implement or heal or add the heal back to her ability it's kind of tough to say that she ranks close to the top so i would say that ranger and witch still hold the trophy and farming over the sorceress albeit the sorceress does look really good when she's floating around the battlefield in terms of PvP, 
I think she has a ton of potential, but she's a very, very complicated class. So if you guys are looking for that class that's going to be easy, that you just press a few buttons and you get a full skill rotation in and you're good to go, I don't think Sorceress is going to be that class for you. However, I think if you do enjoy uh, getting in the thrill of the fight, having to think about what you're going to do next, how to play strategy, play position, what your enemy's doing, and setting up kills either for yourself and or your allies i think the sorcerers could be a lot of fun again she's definitely going to be a little bit more of a technical class because you have to really really pay attention to again what her cooldown times are uh, when to position which abilities and how to use her in a lot of different situations and i think once you get that down and you get that rotation in then i think she could be a lot of fun but again i don't think that she is going to be <laughs> one of the easier classes uh, to learn but if you guys do take the time to master this class, I think she could be a lot of fun for you guys if you guys are into making skill plays. But anyway, guys, uh, with that being said, that's all I wanted to cover today. Just wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts uh, on the Sorceress. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. We're going to continue to take her up to 60 and push her CPI. I, I like her a lot. I'm definitely, definitely going to main her. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, what your guys' personal opinion on the Sorceress in the comment box below. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.